Am I the asshole? For not allowing my daughter wear her late mother's wedding dress since she will not fit into it. My late wife was a very small person, when we got married she was only 115 pounds. So her wedding dress size reflects that. She passed away two years ago so she will cannot attend our daughter's wedding that will be in 2025. Now my daughter wants to wear the dress and I told her it wouldn't be a good idea since she won't be able to squeeze into it. She told me she can just up the size of it and I told her I would think about it. I looked into it and they basically cut the dress up to size it up. I informed her no she can't wear the dress since they would be cutting it up. This resulted in a huge argument about me gatekeeping my wife's things. I told her no again, and that she can wear some of her jewelry. She hung up. She clearly thinks I am a jerk and my sons are now on me to give up the dress. Am I the asshole? Since it was asked twice, my wife always wanted to go dress shopping with our daughters. She loved her wedding dress and I don't think she would be okay with it being cut up. I also have a younger daughter since that was asked. Also I am confused why a lot of the comments mention my youngest is super skinny like my wife. I never said that, she won't fit into the dress either. More due to the fact that she is almost 6 feet. A year ago I probably would have said you were an A.H. Your wife doesn't need the dress and won't be able to go shopping so why not? But in the last year I lost my mom after taking care of her in my home for 9 years. Yes I know it's different to lose a spouse my daughter lost her husband. My point is that I now realize that people grieve differently and we cannot dictate to someone else what they should or should not do. You are not ready to give up your late wife's dress to be cut up and remade. It's that simple you're not ready. End of discussion. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not sure why people are not getting that this is a personal treasure of ops, the dress his late wife married him in. Not the asshole. It kinda depends on how much bigger your daughter is. If she's 125 pounds I say you're in the wrong. If she's 200 pounds then she's in the wrong. There's not much extra fabric in a formal dress. I'm stuck at without that info and your late wife's wishes. I think the borrowed jewelry is a great idea. Edited to change my vote. Nah. It's your wife's dress so of course it's yours to decide what to do with. I'm sure it holds a lot of sentimentality for you. But I can't fault your daughter. Her mom's death is still relatively fresh for her too and she's trying to plan a wedding without her, which is not something she ever would have wanted. So she's most likely trying to feel like her mom is still there. Not the asshole, she's not entitled to the dress, but, do you have another daughter? If not, who is going to wear this dress in the future? It seems to me that the dress might be better used as part of your daughter's wedding dress to honor her mother rather than sitting in the closet. But it's your choice. Info what were your wife's wishes regarding the dress? Not the asshole. The alterations sound significant and it also means she's unlikely to return the dress to storage to you she'd make it her own in a way she's overwriting the fact it was your wife's dress, both visually and in terms of its history and context. You're perfectly within your rights to not be okay with that. It doesn't matter you won't wear the dress, you're the primary person for whom it has the most sentimental value and it's literally in your possession so. Not the asshole my mom is 5 feet and was 95 pounds when she married. There is no way I would ever fit her dress. Am I sad? Yes, but the genetic lottery said I would be 5 feet 6 inches and 180. Did my sister who is 5 feet 3 inches wear it? Yup she did. Am I salty? A little in the way of being salty that I can't go into a clothing store and expect they have my size. I wouldn't want to gift it knowing it would be significantly altered. First of all, I'm so sorry for your loss. You're allowed to keep your late wife's wedding dress intact as a keepsake for you. Like you said, you only have pictures from your wedding day, but this is something a bit more tangible. I think if it brings you comfort or joy, you are allowed to keep the dress as is. However, if you say no to one daughter, you will have to say no to both. 
I think jewelry or using the veil if you have it would be a fantastic alternate. I hope in time the rest of your family understands. Not the asshole. Sizing up never works anyway. And it will cost as much or more than a new one to alter this so significantly. And you have more than one daughter. Why does one get to destroy the dress, what about the other s? Your daughter can wear some of the jewelry. Maybe the veil? Anything from a hairpiece survive? She can buy a dress that fits her beautifully. I can understand you both. You don't want to destroy your wife's dress that obviously means a lot to you. But the dress also means a lot to your daughter. A compromise might be to find a tailor and copy the design. Your daughter could wear a copy and her mother's veil if she had one and her mother jewelry. Info did you actually use the phrase squeeze into it? This might be a weird question but would you be okay with it if she did fit? Like giving it away to her and her keeping it forever? Is it the giving away part that bothers you or the altering? Not the asshole, but remember that it means a lot to you, but it also means a lot to your daughter. If you decide not to let her have it I would absolutely not let the younger daughter have it either. So many people on here seem to overlook that OP was widowed only two years ago so naturally is still grieving. It's understandable that he doesn't want the dress either used or cut up so end of discussion. OP can keep it stored for decades if he chooses. Not the asshole. She wants to cut or size up or WTV the dress the love of your life wore on arguably the most important day of your lives. And considering she passed away and they're forcing you to give it up is disrespectful. Why is everyone saying this man is wrong? He even offered to let her wear the jewelry but she didn't want to hear it. It's not the end of the world if the daughter doesn't wear what her mother wore. This man is grieving his life partner so he's allowed to keep the dress. I highly doubt either daughter would wear the dress as is. Fashions change all the time, even in bridal, and what was in style at the time of your wedding is almost certain to be ugly at the time your daughters get married. Their mother died, and they want a piece of her on their wedding day. Why not have the dress deconstructed, and let each daughter have some fabric to use in their own wedding? It could be incorporated into their dresses, used as the sash tied around a bouquet, etc. This way both daughters get access to the dress. Nah. I'm a seamstress. Unless your daughter is just a few inches bigger than your wife, you can't up the size on the dress. It would have to be taken apart and essentially rebuilt, which wouldn't really be the same dress and depending on if the same fabric was available beading on it length might not even be possible. However, perhaps you could suggest that she has a replica of the dress made in her size? I understand you have more than one daughter. Here's the thing, if you let the other daughter use the dress if she wants it you're going to hurt the one wanting it now deeply. So if one doesn't get it, none should. Also, everyone is grieving including the kids. Not the asshole and if there is a veil maybe that would be a good offer to your daughter. She just might not want to do the dress shopping because her mom won't be with her.